Hey everybody, it's Ravenflower. Um, I just wanted to come on real quick and give you an explanation on how I got connected with three different goddesses. I bet I swore I was going to do this video um, you know, last weekend, but work has been out of control um, this last week. Oh, actually, two weeks, but anyhow. Um, I have Siggy in the um, the kitten that meows nonstop when I come outside. Um, I put her in the trampoline just so that she would uh, get some exercise and maybe not meow. So this is kind of hilarious. So let me show you what she's looking like. Siggy, Siggy! She's too funny. Siggy, over here, babe. So there she goes. In her trampoline. Momo! <clears throat> Siggy is an indoor cat, so she <laughs> is not allowed to go outside, but she really wants to. But um, anyhow, um, for ye I say not years, but I mean months, I've been um, praying and trying to figure out um, what god and goddesses um, I'm connecting with. Um, Coming from a Christian background, it was real hard for me. I feel like I was, you know, trying to rewire myself. Um, you know, you like, who do I feel comfortable in a Christian religion? You're not supposed to pray to anybody, you know, but God. Um, and so that was, it was difficult for me to try to grasp who I feel comfortable with, you know, who do I feel comfortable praying to, you know, what power is that, where is that energy coming from, all that other stuff I needed to make peace with myself and um, anybody else out there going through this, um, there's, I'll tell you, there's nobody that can um, tell you how to do it. You really have to, um, you really have to meditate, you really need to be still, you really need to concentrate on what you're really looking for and um, what you're comfortable with and um, you gotta you gotta reach you gotta reach down deep and it's it's got to find your own path you have really got to find your own path with it because I mean it's it's a very personal personal relationship so um, what works for me is not going to work for somebody else um, I set up an altar and I didn't have anybody at it um, just yet, basically just the, you know, the elements. Um, I uh, brought in dirt from my garden, you know, the garden, um, and uh, different things that meant something to me in accordance to the, to the elements. Um, I uh, sat and meditated for a good long time, uh, for several days, and uh, just, you know, like for an hour or 30 minutes or whatever I had time for. And then constantly throughout the day thinking about what I can do. Oh, Siggy. Is you going to say hi to YouTube? Say hi, YouTube. No, no, no. But, um, anyhow, so meditation, um, lots of prayer. But um, as I was at work or while I was in the car, I was speaking out loud. Um, praying out loud, if you will. Um, calling whatever to me. Um, you know, that wasn't going to hurt or harm my family, mentally, physically, or spiritually, anything that I could, um, figure out what I, um, what I could do to make contact. Um, sorry, I got my dog over there. She's so sick. It's now freaking out. <laughs> Delta pup over there, but, um, here she comes. Do, 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 do. Delta pup. So anyhow, um, really praying out loud. Um, setting my intentions, um, keeping the line of communication open. Um, that was key for me. Um, then when I had set up my altar um, and I started getting, you know, real drawn to certain deities, I, um, I just started talking to them. I just started opening up and, and talking to them and saying, you know, hey, I'm not really sure you know, what you want or what you want from me or what I want from you. But if you're interested, call me. So it was like, seriously, you know, here's my number. Call me maybe. Um, anyhow, um, and I can't go into all of it because, you know, they're all very private conversations, you know, that you you will need to have when you're ready um, to go to this step. So I um, did a very intense offering 
prayer, um, dedication, meditation. And then um, two weeks ago, I had gone over to Crystal Mystic to go see Edward. I had a reading with him, and he's been helping me with um, some past, uh, like my Akashic records, um, past life regression, letting go of anger, hurt, things like that, just to heal and become a better person, really. Um, and I, I walk into his office, and he's like, oh, my gosh. He's like the female goddess is coming off of you right now he's like you're surrounded and I'm like surrounded I'm like what do you mean by that and um he's like he's like oh my gosh he's like sit down he's like I'm gonna need some water he's like you've, you've got some you've got some deities that are attached to you and I'm like yeah. and I'm secretly I'm going yes thank you and so he he's he, we sit down we talk and um he's like um one is very strong she wants to make her presence known and uh, starts uh, starting with the, you know letter b and he's like i don't i haven't heard this name in a while and and sure enough it was um it came across he's like i see her with a hawk and i i, I see red flowing hair and you know, he's like have you been have you been praying to the goddess bridget and and i said yes actually i have you know with um in bulk and the garden and things like that you know i really had connected with her and done some research and and basically asked if she was interested um and he's like okay well you know she wants you to know that she's very happy with you and you know the work that you're doing she's here to serve you not the other way around um but that, you know, she's, she's, she's on your side and she's with you. And I was just so pleased with that. And he's like, you got some others. And I'm like, others? I'm like, I was just so excited to get one. I couldn't imagine that I would have more. And, um, and, and Bast stepped up. And of, of course Bast stepped up. I'm so stinking excited. I've been a cat lover forever. And although I have my, my beautiful puppy, my beautiful puppy Delta, I love her so much. And, but I also have these cats, and I've had cats for as, as long as I can remember. Um, but she, um, you know, she's also a goddess of protection. Um, there's, you know, there was a lesser Egypt, um, you know, an old Egypt and a new Egypt. And if you could do any research, which I suggest that you do because it's extremely interesting, um, it, um, she, um, she was one of, you know, fertility and also... Um, I believe one of protection. Um, so she stepped up and said that she was she felt very close to me and and happy. And um, the other the other was Aphrodite, and I just about uh, I lost it. I thought it was awesome, great. Um, we had uh, done another past life regression, akashic records type thing. I'm probably saying or using this terminology incorrectly, but I'm fairly new, so bear with me. Um, well. I had a, I'm a huge Beatles fan. I love the Beatles. Um, um, I love a lot of music, but I feel a connection to the Beatles um, big time. And I always said that if, you know, Beatles was a religion, I would definitely follow that one because, you know, love is just amazing. And, you know, all you need is love. Um, you can heal all things with love. I think that love is the most powerful thing that there is um, in the universe. And um, Aphrodite loved that she get it love she loved that um you know the goddess of love um and I was just so um shaken in a good way shaken in just such a good way I was feel so blessed feel so connected um and my magic is is different um now that I've connected to some goddesses I felt like I was floating free there and although I was pouring in my love and intent into you know, my garden and, and other spells and things were happening, I still felt a little lost, um, maybe a little bit without direction. Um, but now things are starting to come together. I've been at this actively. Um, I've been a witch for a very long time. I just didn't realize I was one. Um, but actively, I have been practicing since September. Um, so it is now March. So um, it took it took that long, and you know I'm glad that it did, because I can understand it and I can grasp it better now. I think before I was just so eager to have a god or goddess that, um, and I wasn't sure what I wanted, and I wasn't sure 
um, who, who I was and what I wanted to do with my magic. Now that it's clear, um, you know, these three that step forward make a lot of sense, like a lot of sense for me. Um, and at first I was terrified. Uh, well, you know, how can you really practice magic when you're terrified? Um, so things weren't happening for me, and duh, no wonder they weren't happening for me. But um, things are coming into, um, I guess, uh, full circle, I guess, full circle. Things are fruition. Um, balance. I think a balance is starting to be um, created in my in my work in my at school I also go to college um in my home life uh, my relationships with my friends um family members um my relationship with my animals um they are also I consider them my family members um it, just balance balance has come into my life with my magic and it's so much more than a religion um it's a way of life. Um, it's a way of processing through things that otherwise I do would just um, pray away. But now I feel like I'm seeing it through um, instead of like, oh, God, can you take care of this? Like a wish list. You know, it takes work. It takes love, thought, you know, blood, sweat and tears, really, um, you know, finding the right time to do a spell, um, setting your intent, you know, making sure that your mind is clear and free of anger or upset. You don't want to be calm. You want to be cool. You want to be collected. Um, things like that. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. So that is my story of that, of how I found my goddesses. Um, I was after one and I got three and I feel super blessed. Um, you're welcome to ask me any questions you need to. I'd be happy to private message you. You can hit me up on Facebook. It's probably the easiest way to get me. Um, but I respond via email or whatever. But um, love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, it is Easter this weekend. Um, we celebrated um, Astara last, last weekend. So all I'm making is tamales and some deviled eggs. And the rest of it can be like, eh. But, um, and also our tattoo artist and very good friend is here for the next two weeks. So my downstairs guest room is uh, turned into a tattoo parlor for the next two weeks. So I'm getting tattooed. I'm getting my arm finished. There may be some background here. And I've got some octopus and other stuff up here. I actually, I obviously you can't see it, but um, on my whole arm. I have a, a pirate ship um, with a, a compass uh, done in, um, in um, like an arch for um, uh, Art Nouveau. And then I actually have um, the Beatles' Yellow Submarine and then Hogwarts in the background. I'm, it's a really eclectic tattoo, but it um, makes sense. Makes sense to me. Um, I'll try to find a picture and post it in the down bar or you can hit me up on Facebook and I'll post it there. Either way, blessings to you guys. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble on and I hope you guys have an excellent, excellent weekend. Love. Heart stars and clovers.